What's up everyone? Antibody here, bringing you another dual commentary from Down Under. Again this time, we'll be watching map number two between Harry for the win and Osiris, both from Australia. The map this time though, not Silent Siege like we saw last time, this one is another dual map. Um, I think it's called FE26. I'm not sure it, it stands for anything, but it's a great new map uh, with lots of interesting gameplay uh, situations as uh, as these guys kind of kind of get ready to warm up. Um, so as we saw last time, Harry for the win has some amazing next aim, while Osiris is pretty damn sneaky with his with his next and his uh, his rocket and electro there. So um, it's anybody's match, really. Um, it just just kind of depends on, as always, who can get and maintain control of those mega items. Um, so. This this map, as as you can kind of see, has two bigger levels or uh, bigger rooms uh, connected by one small tunnel with uh, with a little bit of other um, pathways in between. Uh, the path one of the pathways in between housing the next, which is so might making it a critical pathway. Um, yeah, but uh, but as we'll as we'll soon see, it's it, it gives some interesting positioning. Um, so unlike a lot of maps today, it, it, and like Silent Siege, it has some room to to laser up in, in these big rooms. A lot of a lot of vertical up and down play. As Harry for the win, uh, readies up. We're gonna go to the full screen mode. Three, two, one, we are watching Harry for the win again. By the way, he spawns right near uh, one of the lower hallways. Looks like Osiris has grabbed himself a next, but Harry, with some good rocket curvature there, is able to pick himself up a next too. Looks like Osiris was able to pick up the first mega armor though. There is a 50 armor that Harry just passed by right there, already taken by Osiris. Now this room, this is the mega armor room, which you see Harry deftly stealing from Osiris. Um, so the Mega Armor Room is is kind of the one where you see people nest uh, because it's right in the middle of the room and it's in this ledge right there. Uh, so around all these pillars you can hide and try to snipe, peck and go, which is a really great strategy if you're the down player. Um, so as you can see, Harry for the win here, taking the over the, the commanding position over near the mega armor. So it's really hard for Osiris to uh, get any damage done when he's so far up, whereas Harry could just toss a whole bunch of splash fire down on Osiris and, and get a lot of damage, no problem. See a little bit of the frustration in, in Harry's movement, uh, flexing the mouse back and forth as he's waiting for the next mega armor to come up. There's some of the difficulty in uh, in getting those those upper shots. Osiris doing the right thing again, keeping the commanding view, trying to deal some damage when he can, and he goes down due to some excellent aim by Harry for the win there. The only thing unfortunate about that one teleporter, as you saw right there, is the player waiting for that mega health can pretty much sit up on the mega health area and wait for the person to come through the tele and. You know, easy neck shot, and then you can back up, and you're protected by the ledge. Not the case with that mega armor, because it's, you know, by definition, it's it's going to be harder, because it's sitting right there in the middle of the room. So even though that mega health isn't in the middle of the room, Osiris doing a good job getting a quick neck shot in, and and backing away using the protection of those pillars to, uh, to prevent ta taking any damage from Harry, who has... Who is pretty much dominating both items, like we saw in the Silent Siege match. Down to the second, a near miss by Harry. Osiris is lucky to to keep those uh, 90 health points. Again with the poise on Harry's Harry's aim there. Uh, you don't see a lot of movement in his crosshair. He's uh, he's dead calm when he gets his opponent in the in his crosshairs. It makes it look so easy. Osiris doing a good job again. 
spraying down some splash weapons, but Harry's got the timing down to the second. He's in and exposed for a bare minimum of time. He's trying to stay up on the upper levels, collecting all the little shards along the way, which is another good thing to do. There's uh, so few shards in this map. We just heard Osiris coming out. Osiris trying to deal some damage and, and get away. Fortunately, Harry misses his next shot there. That's the spot. This ledge right there. That's a dangerous spot for Osiris to be uh, rearing his head. He needs to poke through the teleporter and move immediately to the left or to the right. Otherwise, he's pretty much a sitting duck for Harry's next there. Good mortar work. Harry backing off. Because Osiris has done a, a pretty good deal of damage. Harry maintaining his short lead 2-0. to zero. We're 4 minutes and 15 seconds into the match. Very well played. So although dominant control by Harry for the win, he's not able to convert. And Osiris is pretty much doing his job. Staying out of the way, trying to do some damage. Seeing if he can sneak a Mega or two. Harry taking somewhat different position, coming up with another frag. Extending his lead 3-0. to zero. An unfortunate spawn there for Osiris as he goes down 4-0. to zero And he spawns right in front of Harry. Been a couple of complaints about the spawn system of late. I can understand. When you've just been fragged by your opponent, you're down to 100 health and, and 0 armor. And you spawn right in front of a of a stacked individual with, with an axe and a rocket. It's It's pretty much hopeless. You're going down. Good use of the Electro Combo there. Kind of pushes pushes Harry away. Sneaks a sneaks the Mega Armor. Hopefully he doesn't come in through that teleporter. He does. Quick and easy shot, as I mentioned before. Harry trying to get his trick jumps down right. Pays dearly for it, but is able to pick up the Mega Health, fortunately for him. Harry down to 15-15. Osiris has got to be in pursuit now. He's got to convert that damage. He can't idle around waiting for just a little bit off in the timing for Osiris. Great rocket, rocket work, though. And a great next shot to follow as he takes down Harry in the, in the next tunnel. Wow, tremendous shot by Harry. Hopping around, trying to trying to hear where Osiris is. I'm not sure where he stands in terms of his timing. We see the a near miss by Harry there. So the Mega Armor is up at about 625. Coming up again in 30 seconds. So look for some so from, for some action here in here in a couple seconds. Oh, now it's Osiris's turn to run the control. As you can hear him picking up both items. Now Osiris is using his head, staying away from those tight corridors. Harry, on the other hand, kind of is forced to stay in these corridors, peek out, use the pillars, try to do some damage. Okay, looks like Harry's going to... I think he hears Osiris down there somewhere picking up the picking up the shards. Tries to get an ambush. Does not work. He goes down. Osiris picks up his second frag. 4-2 to two in favor of Harry for the win. 7 minutes, 23 seconds into this match. Another great neck shot by Osiris. Bringing it within one. 4-3. Seven and a half minutes in. So at this point... The name of the game for Harry is to arm himself, first of all, stay away from Osiris, second of all, and probably try to steal an item. So you can't really steal an item until you have the weapons to push the person away. And he does. He certainly has the aim to do it as well, as we're seeing right there. Harry... Getting the timing down perfectly, stealing that mega health. 
Now he's in a spot to regain control here. Sits on top of the 50 armor spawn, further strengthening his position. Now, this is what I was talking about, this big room, why it's such a great spot for ambushing. You can hide up in the pillars and spam the entranceways. So if you get there first, you know, you can spam away. You have lots of rocket ammo and um, a decent amount of cells, so cell ammo for electro spam. So you got electro spam and rocket spam. That'll, that'll both do a good job of uh, keeping your opponent away from particular entrances for the items. So we saw Harry extending his lead by two. Following that up with another mega armor pickup. Should see mega health coming up here any second. <laughs> I think he wanted it a little sooner. Okay, so we got a little under a minute remaining in this match. Well played by both so far, but right now, the ball is in Osiris's court. Osiris is the one who needs to make the move. Harry do need do nothing but sit back. So Osiris tries to push the issue and uh, ends up getting taken down for another frag. Harry extends his lead. 6 to 3. 20 seconds remaining. What I expect to see from Harry is a lot of uh, firing the rocket and then running. All he needs to do is keep Osiris away. He really doesn't need any more frags. Well, I guess they just kind of gave one by virtue of a suicide. And that's the game. 6-2. to two. What a thrilling match on FE26 between Harry for the win and Osiris. Um, both players extremely uh, well placed in terms of their positioning and in terms of the splash uh, damage that they were trying to throw out in particular... Uh, spaces. So overall, great match. Um, I'm Antibody, and this has been yet another dual commentary. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy fragging.